position in that way. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it would have been better if, if Max had tried to go for faster disruptors or something to, to make it a little more uh, different, but unfortunately yeah, unable to. Oh yeah. Um, all right, so we've got China in the bottom left. I'm gonna look at the name of this map. Night Escape. We're gonna race our, this our is energy where your bikes through goes. Yeah. <laughs> Oracles coming in out of nowhere and killing all their workers. So the uh, SOS actually isn't even leaving them home either. He's kind of hoping that Maru can just use his Marines and tanks to just defend this natural here. Where I mean, having two Oracles to defend this would have honestly been very helpful. I'm kind of surprised that he's not doing that, but we'll send them across. Still gets a couple SCVs regardless of the fact that they're coming in out of nowhere and killing all their workers. So the uh, SOS actually isn't even leaving them home either. He's kind of hoping that Maru can just use his Marines and tanks to just defend this natural here where, I mean, having two Oracles to defend this would have honestly been very helpful. I'm kind of surprised that he's not doing that, but we'll send them across. Still gets a couple SCVs regardless of the fact that they were scouted. Yeah, beautifully done. And he's going to find more with that coming through here, getting additional kills on these workers. This is actually huge blows here uh, for the Chinese teams, Korea. Gonna come through and get that damage off here. The Nexus is actually being focus fired, and I think it's going to live. Wow, very Ooh, close round very tech close. here for for um, the Chinese team. So this is this is interesting. I mean, we've got, in fact, a mirror matchup hmm. for these two sides, but it's going in very different directions. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I, I like this actually. It's just totally different, conflicting styles. The drop over here from Oliveira, I believe, is going to go into this. Uh, CC up in the top. We'll be able to even possibly kill it because there's only a couple Oracles here to defend. The, the SCVs will help repair. The Oracles try to go in by themselves and will get melted by that Marine count. Very strong uh, units they still are. I mean, it's just because it's a 2v2 doesn't mean Marines are any less viable. We'll be able to lift up and get out of there. Luckily keeps the CC alive. Ooh, ooh, wow, nice. Even some Blink Stalkers on the right. I think he was targeting the Command Center for a second. Yeah. Why do they keep targeting these buildings? Are like, they're like literally like the buildings with the most HP in the game. Like there are moments to do that, but this is not one of them. Like yeah. he's targeting like a command center with SCVs mining, and it's like, well, you're just hoping your opponent doesn't repair now. Yeah. Hey, he even tried to go on the Nexus as well, considering it has so few time. The game closes out. It's, no, it's time to take a Nexus. Not all IDs are made equally. <laughs> and every time I see uh, Oliveira, I think of all of Young makeup store by my house. Yeah. Um, Okay, we've got a, a big dive in here. Does the Chinese players have enough? I mean, supplies are plummeting right now for Maru and uh, SOS is already pretty low. Yeah, I mean, the Marines are getting rid of the Interceptors, I feel like, and the Stalker's also helping out with that. A Stasis actually continuing to uh, get some of those units Stasis right there. And a couple tanks actually got ignored, apparently. Oh no, sorry, that was uh, Oliveira's tanks. It's so hard to see what these colors are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, actually, it seems like Team Korea will be able to defend for now, but BC's doing a really good job. Carrier's also getting a couple more of their Interceptors back. Oh, nice little BC teleport micro to keep that one alive. That's going to be really oh, critical, by the way. Yeah, nice little TP play over here for Maru, though, to get some harassment done on this gold base. <laughs> Yamato-ing SCVs. It's got to be the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Incredible moves right here from Maru, but uh, there's not really much really to deflect these BCs right now, so lots of damage getting done over to Oli uh, Oliveira here. The nimble, weak, maneuvering <laughs> virgin <laughs> round army versus the Giga Chad. <laughs> I sit here and do nothing. <laughs> they yeah. move That's so funny, dude. <laughs> um, oh no, he messed with the recall. Oh man, that's a lot of units getting completely wiped off the map, and Oliveira and uh, the entire Chinese team is going to take a huge victory from that. Maru's entire fleet of BCs was over on the left side, so not able to help with that. And uh, the recall even is able to help bring those Tempest over, but a couple of them just get Yamato'd for the BC section. The nimble, so. weak, maneuvering virgin <laughs> round army versus the Giga Chad. I sit here and do nothing. They moved off. That's so funny, dude. Um, oh no, he messed up the recall. Oh man, that's a lot of units getting completely wiped off the map, and Oliveira and uh, the entire Chinese team is going to take a huge victory from that. Maru's entire fleet of BCs was over on the left side, so not able to help with that. And uh, the recall even is able to help bring those Tempest over, but a couple of them just get Yamato'd. Or the lead game 2v2 cast, so I'm like, <laughs> really, this is a very exploratory cast for me. I really am not sure what's going to happen, but I do want to point out, um, it's really hard to actually kill the Turtling Air Fleet, mm, yeah. I think it will come down to whether or not, with the Air Fleet, they're ever able to push to the bottom. 
Yeah. Bottom right, I mean. Yeah, that, this is where all the remaining resources are going to be, really, as the game continues. I mean, this a little attempt over here from Time, sorry, Oliveira, <laughs> is trying to uh, get something done, but because there's so little from Maxed to uh, bolster this attack, the combined forces of Team Korea is really able to dissuade this little pressure here, and we'll be able to bounce it back and even kill off a base over here. Problem though, there's, there's no uh, ground army here. Oh, actually, the Tempest, all from Maxed, getting caught, somehow left those alone over there by themselves. That's a huge move, gonna really help out there, but now the rest of Time forces are gonna come down with the Marines as well. Team Korea is definitely gonna have to back away from this one. Yeah, they're gonna get pushed into a corner again here. And keep in mind, anytime you see any of these capital ships go down, and they are capital ships, by the way, yep. um, it takes so long to remake it. It's crazy. It is true. Uh, or a uh, BCT uh, China's air fleet is really trying, is getting a pretty good foothold here on top of what SOS has managed to, to get here. He's really losing quite a bit, a bit of supply here, actually, as, as uh, the mothership he's even gonna get taken down. There's Storm also now in play trying to kill off all these Vikings, and they will actually be able to help with that a decent amount, but, I mean, SOS is looking very, very weak right now. I think he's actually only on two bases, by the way. Yeah, he's totally broke. This is gonna be GG, I think. Yeah, I think they weren't able to really keep it together quite a bit, uh, just enough. I mean, there's so many bases on the left side, man. That's just so much income getting thrown down here. Oliveira's oh, arm. Uh -huh. the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the economy, <laughs> yeah. the economy. <laughs> But uh, they're going to get surrounded here by quite a few of the air forces of Team China. And I mean, this is not looking very good. They're even getting flanked by a bunch of stalkers here. And SOS's army is absolutely murdered. And the rest is Mars. There's just like the same warehouse. They're like, well, we're in Busan. Yeah. I guess we go to That's the, the Esports Chair Warehouse. The, the richest guy <laughs> in the whole country is the guy that makes it. Um, okay, we're in the game. Uh, team China. No, sorry, Team Korea, bottom right. Such a challenge to cast. Oh, dude. StarCraft 2v2. This is such a new experience. Just, I don't even know what's happening, honestly. It's like, are they going to do the same thing? Probably not. It didn't work. So surely they're going to try something else, right? How funny would it be if they just... If they did it again and lost, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, okay. Yeah. You are the two, two of the greatest RTS minds in the world, and you try to do the same bad strat twice. <laughs> you know, base. Uh, just about oh, okay, down. here they come. Yeah, I think I think Mara's got plenty here to deal with this though. These stalkers don't have blink. I mean, it's not really. Oh my bad. I thought they actually had blink. Yeah, no, it's just some normal stalkers. Some lifts even coming out from a couple of the Phoenix will help allow the Marines to alley you dump them with a four gate on both sides or something like that, and it's just total chaos. But not gonna happen this game. A huge lift up from all these Phoenixes. Get all those stalkers out in the middle of the map. Yet again, all you dunking with. I think the moment. Well, this is kind of funny because we see Maru and, and SOS pushing out. Max said, I think, has dropped the ball here. His army is actually so small. Um, but, I mean, I guess if it's just going to be Mario. Just continue alone. going to the right to pick up all the stalkers. Yeah. So that way they can't focus on the tanks. And then the, the tanks just kill off the bio. But he, like, walked over the Marines for some stalkers reason. Stalkers and Marines, the Phoenixes just can't do anything. Yeah. Um, it's going to come down a little bit here to, to how Mario can handle this. He is going to stim and dive in. Okay, the Phoenixes do pick up the tanks does allow the Marines to get down the choke point, which is a pretty nice play, but the Phoenix are all going to get killed, essentially. There's only two left over, but it lets Maru flourish and get down the ramp and kill Maybe. off the... <laughs> It's a play right here. The trees on this map are huge. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I've never seen trees so big. I mean, when you think about this the scale... This is on the of... Avatar planet. <laughs> <laughs> think about the scale of it, too. Like, those medevacs are gigantic airships as well. The I tree, know. like, is eclipsing it so much. Double drop in the main on both sides here, so this is gonna get pretty weird pretty quickly here. Both Protoss is taking the brunt of the damage, by the way. Neither of the Terrans dropped into the Terran bases. They both, That's right. They're both pulling the Protosses down, trying to keep them out. This is quite kind of funny here. Yeah, big drop over here. Oliveira really um, hammering away into the main base here of SOS. SOS is eating a lot of damage. It's a game where, you know, the Protosses are both limping through the game, and the Terrans are really <laughs> kind of delivering the damage. Yeah, he's chased out again. Um, this is a lot more of an interesting 2v2, to be totally honest with you. Uh, another big stim in here, these Stalkers. The angle's so bad. Uh, it, it, it inadvertently, it looks like Max had kind of created a bottleneck here with this setup. Yeah, another drop going into the main base as well, trying to keep down SOS. This is 
We're just continually just dropping into the Protoss main bases, trying to keep them as down and out as possible. It's very funny looking at this, but SOS is definitely getting the shorter end of the stick, as Max said. Ooh, even gets a nice, nice. forward of a full medevac Oh, I mean, very supplies good. are dead even for the Terrans. SOS is hurting, but Max said isn't in great shape either. Yeah, I think it's really coming down to the Protosses, though, because uh, the composition from Max said is actually something right here, whereas SOS, yeah. he's literally just got eight Phoenix. Like, that's his whole army. But now there's Storm as well from Max said, which is, even though his army is, sh is small, it's going to help a lot Ooh. against this huge Marine Club. Nice Storm there, forcing Maru back, and Oliveira is going to be able to continue forcing himself forward. The Phoenix, totally useless in this engagement. Nothing Bad being idea, done. But it doesn't seem to be very good at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, if you lose the momentum, it's really going to be hard to come back with it. And the team, the team China is trying to go into it. The Phoenix are doing a good job lifting up those tanks in the background, but there's so many Marines and other things on the ground that the Phoenix won't be able to stay alive for that much longer. Maxed actually losing quite a lot of his army as well. The tanks of Maru never actually got dealt with. Yes, the, so now Protoss is trying to manage to help support with their different armies. Oh, this medevac oh. drop into the Phoenix. Oh, it still doesn't. Oh, it doesn't get anything. <laughs> You think the Phoenix are going to be able to kill the Medivacs fast enough and they just drop all the Marines anyway. It's like, ah, we didn't actually do our only job. Oh, no. <laughs> you had one job. Um, yeah, they're going to kill off the Nexus here. And this is uh, doing a lot of damage. Meanwhile, big push up here uh, from Max. Said, looks like he's going to be hitting Maro pretty hard, but Maro does eventually get the upper hand. The Colossus is actually so, there's so many Colossus, I, actually, I didn't even realize that he was able to get four out already. And this is uh, a lot of units to be sacrificing from Oliveira here. He did kill off a lot of us to get an army set up to help support Maru. They might still find a way to make this work. Okay, he's going to stim in really big pickups actually by SOS. That was beautifully done. But um, does the counterattack here do, do enough? It looks like it's a bit of a tit for tat. Um, again, Terrence basically even in supply. SOS just slightly behind here, trying to catch up to Max said. It is important to note that um, our Chinese players are growing into the, to the 12 o'clock position, which is kind of the Korean side of the map, so to speak. Right. That's why they are so adamant about pushing this as well. They want to reclaim this space so that way they prevent them from pushing back up. So now that all of SOS's stuff is here, this is actually doing pretty good. The other interesting thing to note as well is that the supplies between the Protosses are different, but a lot of that is probes. Max said's army supply compared to SOS is actually almost equal as well because he's got like 25 or so more probes than SOS. That's the real differential in the supply right now. So once these armies actually engage, it's actually kind of even. This is unfortunate though. That's a bad spot to be as SOS. Yeah, well, I mean, this is really unfortunate because SMS was already, like, you know, basically the weakest link here in the various areas of the map. There's actually so much going on, this is, like, hard to even follow. Yeah, there's some stuff on the bottom left going down, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh... Uh, that, that's so unfortunate for SOS that those units got caught there. A great play by the Chinese team to be able to catch those, but it, it was starting to get really uh, competitive there, 14 I see purple, and I see red. Those are the Chinese players. So, I mean, we're, we're seeing them... What are you like? It's like I see London, I see France. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I see teal and I see purple. Those yeah. are the Koreans. <laughs> Those are the Koreans. Yeah, that's one way to cast this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it just it does seem like growth is there, right? Yeah, they're definitely still expanding out here and there. But Maru is like really trying to, to send this into the, the third game here. Big drop in here, but a very quick repair. Can the Zealots basically overpower the uh, SVs? Absolutely, they can. For it. Now, Maru. His army is just so freaking big. He's taking on both of these armies at the same time. There's a massive disruptor army, and that's basically it from Max Ed right now. But he can just run away from that and continue to kill off all of Oliveira's stuff. The Phoenix is now coming too. Could even lift up the disruptors if they want, but they're just going to continually batter down the Terran, trying to get that out of the way. And Maru's army supply is barely dipping, while now Oliveira is completely in the dumpster. Yeah, I mean, this is a game where it felt like overall China was winning, 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 but it's possible that Maru. Um might have single-handedly clobbered Oliveira enough that we might be going into a game three. Let's see how the rest of it pans out. Yeah, I mean, this army composition <laughs> does go down in the middle. Oh my god, please let it just be a giant nuke to edit. That'd be so sick. The disruptors are coming forward. I don't know if the nuke is still getting launched or not, but the wow. GG will come out. And it's not. Oh and you just attack god. it. It's like... You thought. Yeah, you're like, oh, I guess I'm not supposed to do this. And the game, <laughs> the game's supposed to develop on, and I'm supposed oh, to try to... I made the wrong decision. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, nicely done by them to be able to even it up. Uh, drop in the knowledge bombs. And uh, bathroom. <laughs> <These are> bathroom <laughs> tiles. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try for a little bit more early aggression, seeing if uh, Team China does not quite prepare for that. A couple of depths are gonna help bolster this attack as well. And it looks like they're not quite prepared for this, maybe expecting Maru and SOS to just do the same thing again, and they're not. This bottleneck created wow. over here. Um, yeah, I mean, the idea is definitely there. The two finish a little bit quickly here. So he's going to be able to get an Observer out, hopefully in time to deal with these DTs. Otherwise, he's going to be in a big amount of pain. Interesting to see the uh, the Koreans basically go for very aggro play after having two passive openings. Yeah. Is this going to be spotted? Oh, oh my so god. Good. He's right on that. How many DTs does it take to kill a pylon when it's warping in? Like, to, 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 to do the damage where it just forces it out? I feel like two? That, I mean, that's something I should know. It's either two or three. Yeah, I actually don't know off the top of my head. It's not one. No, it's um, not. But I just saw that moment. I'm like, I wonder if there was two that could hit if you could just like slice your way through that. Well, he also had a stalker on the other side too. He has fast yeah. three CC coming out of Maru might get punished. There's the random double tank drop there to help anchor. Two now the rest tanks. of the units come on in. Wow, this is actually a pretty big push coming here. The 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 scan coming down as well in case the DTs are there, but they come after the scan actually. But there is an observer, so that's not going to do anything. SOS with a very uh, useless tech right now with those DTs is unable to do much damage at all with them. And Maru doesn't really have much here to defend the actual full army either. This is a really awkward spot. Oh man, the DT's gonna get in here. Big oh. kill. Did the Observer die somehow? He's I don't see, another I don't scan see it now. Stalker yeah. for a bit, so that could have been a lot more dead probes than it really was. Still gonna get a pretty decent amount of damage, and it's gonna allow the double tank drop to yet again come on in. But now there's an Immortal here, which will definitely help to deal with that. So that's a very nice uh, move here. But no overcharge on the battery. Let's the Immortal die right there. I don't know if he maybe just didn't have the energy for it or something, but that's really awkward. The DT is still doing stuff in the main, will eventually get killed off. Huge amounts of damage getting done by both players on both sides here. This is uh, getting really chaotic. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm checking the worker count now, and I mean, this is... War Prison Drop is still managing to find a decent amount of damage here and there, surprisingly. I'm amazed there's no, like, Viking or something to help get rid of that. Oh my god, he might even... No, don't tell me we're going to not let the CC again and lose it. That'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's got enough repair. Good. Yeah, he's going to be driven back here. Um, it's been a pretty intense game. We're almost at 10 minutes, and nobody's really ventured out of the... Um, how do I say this? Like, the kind of origin point. They're like the little the, quadrant yeah. of the map. They're free bases. To, to uh, have a game where Mario might just overpower Oliveira and, and Max said here. Max said is actually kind of the driving... I'm sorry, um... Uh, Max is kind of the, the, the guy that's hanging on here. Oliver is so down. Some, uh, a good amount of his supply is just those tanks. That's it. Nice. GT